Yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? What up? It's Louis here, bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. Now we're going to take a look at Dash, guys. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been supporting my YouTube channel over these last couple of months. I've been growing crazy, literally. I know the cryptos aren't going parabolic, but I think my channel is, and my Twitter. I think I gained over 45 followers on my Twitter. I think I've just hit like 245 followers because I had 200 at the beginning of the day. So smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and make sure you're following me on my Twitter. The link is down below because I'm posting multiple updates during the day. So Dash, what can we expect? So obviously here there was a potential for a, f a flag pattern or just a bullish continuation pattern basically and that would have given you a target of 284. However, we fell below, so this is not in play, but this is where you're retracing to anyway, because this is your local high. So I'm actually gonna leave the, where is it gone? Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the 284, because we are retracing to there as a fact, as a fact, because once you broke out of this falling wedge, that is your technical target, the top of the wedge. So I'm gonna leave that there, guys. But what happened is, Yesterday, you actually broke out and we had the fake out and you lost your low. So I'm going to remove this now and we're going to see what happened. So right now, you're currently sitting above this support. It was a resistance now to back at support. So this is bullish, guys, which means that this here was a fake out. So if it's a fake out, it means it's just market manipulation, making you think that the chart is going one way, but it's not going that way. So obviously, guys... I don't want to sound like an idiot, but if you want, please take notes whenever I'm making videos and obviously put these lines on your charts as well. Um, yeah, so we had this ascending triangle with a target 239, which we now have met. After meeting our target, we had a little overshoot before retracing and losing this neckline here. And this is actually formed a M pattern. And this target is down to, let me guess. There you go, technical target met exactly. So that brought us just off the 55, because you can see it's just off of it, but you have gone back above the 20 and now you've back tested that support, amazing guys. So you met your technical target, now that pattern is done. So you're, not, you're no longer bearish basically at the moment. So what you have done is you've almost come back exactly to the ascending triangle resistance and now flipping it to support you you just came slightly off of it you did come down to this area here so can you see resistance fake out resistance exactly and then full resistance full break it support because support and resistance is not a single location sorry it's not a single line it's an area guys so that's why i draw boxes a lot of the time but with patterns i use lines so what I'm seeing now is a, another bullish continuation pattern, which is a bull flag. And then you measure the push into this bull flag, put it on the outside, and that gives us a technical target. Let me get this correct, because we have broken out. Now that's given us a technical target up at $255, guys. So yeah, we're retracing to 284, but a, a this is working as confluence because you're breaking this high, which is a higher high. So what we can anticipate is maybe like an overshoot again, come back here and then go for the 284. So yeah, please remember that guys. Always draw in the lines that you see on my chart on your own charts. So let's delete that. So yeah, that's our new technical target because you now held this as support and you've also broken out of this bullish flag pattern and you're above the EMAs. Beautiful. So I'm going to get out the fibs now to see this in the short term. Yeah, look, perfect confluence, because once you're above this level, you've taken it back to your uh, local high over here. Once you're above the local high, as I just said, you're going to maybe overshoot, come down, hold the high, and then head to 284, which is an overshoot of the 1618. So yeah, loads of confluence over here, because we know that with the fibs, you're going to here. However, we got a target up here because of that falling wedge over here. Because you are retracing that now as you've fallen out of it. Because this is a bullish pattern, guys, okay? This is a very bullish pattern. And you can see, you can even consider this a flag pattern as well. So from the low over here to the top and on the breakout. Let me just get this line straighter. On the breakout, 
you've got a technical target look at that that's confluence that's taking you above the swing high over here and then what look at that where that's coming to the 786 at 343 so what we can anticipate so obviously we're retracing to the top but once we get above there hold that support oh let me do this again guys so once we retrace to the top meet our technical target fall back to the swing high over here and then look then we have a technical target to 475 which i gave you in my first dash video and after that you'd fall back to the 786 right 343 dollars where is that that is your technical target out of this bullish flag pattern here remember guys these can actually point downwards or even point upwards like that and still go up okay perfect guys that's dash when technical targets to the upside we got multiple now so we got three four three but of course before we get there at the moment in the short term we're going to two five five but we are also retracing to the top of this falling wedge at 284 perfect guys i hope you enjoyed all of today's updates make sure you smash the like button i'll see you in the next one peace